So, so, so. <clears throat> Welcome back to Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, friends. Today... <laughs> Perry, don't be all like that. I see you crying emojis in the chat just because I'm a little bit late to start. I'm a little bit late. I said I would start at 12. Fairy's being overly dramatic about it. Anyway. <clears throat> Welcome back to Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Today, I am a little bit sick as you can probably tell from my voice quality. But we are also going to be heading in to fight Groudon. We made it to the halfway point last time. But... This is not necessarily an easy dungeon for my character. As there are ground types in here. Ground and rock types. Like you just saw with that big old onyx. So the best thing for me to do is to switch with... With Julian, who's stronger, but Julian's AI is not necessarily... The best. Best stuff like this. But that's okay, that's why we have stuff like this. And now I'm aware of how to do stuff. Yeah. That and sometimes he misses. When we get to Groudon, however, my first move is going to be making it so that Julian can only use Water Gun or Water Type moves. Not because... His other moves won't, like, do damage, but because Groudon is, as always, four times weak to water. Because he's a fire ground type. I also learned Flamethrower, which isn't useful in this dungeon. Not very much anyway, but is. Wait, really? Let's see. I wonder where we are. I know we've come pretty far. Ooh, quake! Whew, it settled down. It's seven over there. Look! Hey, snap out of it! Urgh. What happened here? We challenged Groudon and wiped out Gr Groudon. Uh, we, it crushed us. Wait, what about Alakazam? Where'd Alakazam go? Alakazam is still battling Groudon. Seven, we gotta hurry! Be careful! <laughs> We got reviver seeds, which means we're better prepared than you. Oh, Alakazam, are you okay? Hmm. So it is you. Stay back. This opponent is no laughing matter. Here it comes. Coming? Where? Right! Alakazam! Alakazam's gone. Is he maybe knocked out? Darn it, it's our turn next. But I'm not going down without a fight. Seven, hang tough. Alright. First things first. Julian. Alright, no bite. No scratch. Only dig in water gun, because those are good moves against him. Um, let's see, do I have? Yes, I do. Got you, 
Dude's taken forever to get here. So I'm gonna take as much time as I can to get him down. And then... We start... Dealing with it. I don't need to worry about it, I got reviver seeds. We're taking it down. Thank you for the Oran Berry, my bud. We gotta keep going until he's down. And that's part of the reason why I left uh, Absol back there. Okay. Don't have anything else. Got two reviver seeds and that's it, so we gotta keep going. Yep, I can do two damage with flamethrower because sunny. I'm not afraid. Not at all. I'm terrified. Because I'm out of... God. Last seeds. He's burned. Revived. Double check. Okay, I don't have anything else. So it's gonna have to be. <sighs> yep. Rock on. We're doing our best chipping away at it by, like, inches. Of course, I don't know how much HP this dude even has to begin with. But I'm glad I have Julian using dig and stuff, because that only... Alright, here we go. God, we gotta get him out. Alright, I gotta dodge out. One more. Okay, now I'm in a better position. And I can start doing this. Come on, get out. Yep, I didn't do the right one. Sorry, Nightshade. This is the first time I've ever been in this guy's lair, by the way. So I'm I've gone in here completely blind and can only hope we get him soon.
Darn it. We get teleported out. So we get sent back here. Yeah, it's not very far at all. But now I don't have anything. See, not a thing. So I'm not really sure what we can do to beat him. Except forcibly level. But as you can see, we no longer have a third member either. And we were sort of relying on that person. Yeah, level 28. I think this is the first time I've bested Julian. Now Julian's level 28. Leveling wise. So we can only hope that we can get some stuff. from this dungeon that we're in. Or find a Keelion shop. Because that's really the... the best thing for us. Right. I'm gonna let you use bite and scratch, but we need to keep dig for grout on my men. But as you can see, it's like we're not gonna get anything at all. is difficult. Okay, so there's literally nothing in here. Okay, interesting. Yep, here we go again. First things first, Julian, water gun, dig. Everything else is secondary. Secondly, set that. Thirdly, now that's the silver spike. How do I... Uh, others. Game options. Others. I'm just trying to figure out how to use my move the way I... The fact that I said it is important.
you're gonna see me using flamethrower quite a bit. I'm actually gonna step back and use it before it can like get its special defense up. Because I think that was a major issue in the last one. But we don't we don't have anything, you know. And he's not missing all the time this time for whatever reason. Julian, use dig! Get out of the fi Wait. Julian, did you even hit him at all? Julian, did you hit him at all? Or was it just me? Did he hit him at all? Did I just take out Groudon by using Flamethrower constantly? Okay. <laughs> Look, it's Alakazam! Charizard and Tyranitar, too! Uh. I'm glad to see they reused the Groudon flop model for explorers of time, darkness, and sky. It's a very good model. Did you do it, Groudon? Are you alright? Yes, fine. We will be fine, but we must get out immediately. What about Groudon? Will it be okay? Your concern is unneeded. It will wake him soon enough. It had lost control only because it, it was enraged from having its sleep disturbed. It should calm down. Ah, another quake. Out, quickly. Having calmed Groudon, Seven's team left the dungeon and returned to Pokemon Square together with Alakazam's team. I am now the farthest I have ever been in Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Blue Rescue Team, Red Rescue Team. And in the square... Is Seven's team almost here? Look, here they come! It's true, darlings! Let's go! Great work! Great work, Seven! You really took down that Groudon? Darlings, it's fantastic! You have won me over! Well, wait a second. How does everyone know about what happened underground? Developer spread the news with an extra edition of the Pokemon news. You bunch became stronger than I expected. You can be proud of it. You lot did great. Why don't we team up sometime? <laughs> You've earned everyone's respect now. Your team Toothy Ma is a first class rescue team. Take pride in that. Julian. Seven. <laughs> Seven! This is great! All the work we put in, it was all worth it! Would you look at that? I didn't think that someone who, that could take down Groudon would be such a crybaby! <laughs> huh? What was that? That I heard something for just a moment. Did I imagine it? No, I heard it too. Me too. Even now I hear it. Someone talking? Not sure. This voice. I remember this voice. This voice. I think. That's it. It's Zatu. <laughs> Zatu? Ah, that's it. Telepathy. Zatu is calling out to us using telepathy.
Alright. Alrighty. To all Pokemon. Calling all Pokemon. Terrible it is. From the sky falls a star. From the sky comes a star. It is huge. A giant of a star. The star, it falls. It falls straight to us. Neat. Disasters in nature, there were many. The balance of the world has been upset. All because of the star. The star that slowly comes closer. If it keeps coming, it will crash into this world. It shall be terrible. Something must be done. Zatu, tell us. Can the falling star be stopped? There is a way. To prevent collision, there is but one solution. You must ask Rayquaza. Rayquaza? What might that be? A Pokemon living far above us in the sky. Legendary, it is. Rayquaza must be asked to destroy this star from the sky. However, far, far up in the sky lives Rayquaza, known by few and seen by none. The sky. How are we to go there? Alakazam and I amplify our teleport together and send Pokemon to the sky. However, the sky is a world above the clouds. What will become of the Pokemon sent to the sky? Even I can guess nothing. Then we'll do it. We'll go. I also... <laughs> I thought there could be none but you. But... Are you sure? There's no telling what you'll find in that world above the clouds. We expect danger. It's my wish that all Pokemon can live in peace. Julian, Seven. Did you hear? This is Zatu. Discuss we will, Alakazam and I, about how our teleport can be amplified. Departure. It is tomorrow. Rest you should until then. Last word. Dangerous will be your adventure. But fail you must not. Surpass yourselves. No problem. We'll be fine. It's seven. Let's get it done. Seven, you're our one hope. <laughs> Welcome, this is Felicity Bank. A wiggly tough. I still can't buy anymore. Got it, got it, bud. Hey, Keleons, do you actually have anything? Yes. One second, Keleon. I gotta go get my money. I need all the reviver seeds all the time, everybody. Yep. Thank you. We're buying the heal seed. Is that useful? And we'll buy your huge apples, too. Not from you. My brother. Useful will be taking that. Mainly because I don't know if anybody can learn that, but it would be very useful if they could. Alright. Alright. 
Man, I just lost a whole lot of money to do that. It's the thunderbolt in my bag, I know. Here we go. We need you, you, you. I'll take, I don't think anybody in my team can learn that. So we'll not, we'll grab another max elixir. <clears throat> I really need to like get rid of some of the stuff in here since I have huge apples I'm gonna put the apples away and the gravel rock because I have this silver I gotta make sure that the team, <clears throat> I don't have anything, he doesn't have anything, okay. These are the only things I need. All right, thanks, Kangas Khan. Now we gotta go get our friend. Nightshade. Join the team. Because that's the truth. And then I do the same for Julian and I. Because if I do that, then I can go put more orange berries into my uh my bag, which I want to do. I don't need to store anything. I need to take stuff. Need Orenberry. Because <coughs> now we're good. Alright. Seven. Are you all ready for the sky? All set. Great. Looks like you're all set to roll. We leave tomorrow. Let's get plenty of rest tonight and get set for tomorrow. Tomorrow, let's give it everything we've got, Seven. I am prepared. Very prepared. But it's funny that Zatu's like a star. A star is coming to destroy us all. Because I'm Star Sailor Seven. Or should I guess I say Star Smasher 7? Because I'm going to smash a star with Rayquaza's help. Uh, I feel horrible. This is a dream, isn't it? But why, why do I feel this terrible? This is the first time... 
How do you like Dream Eater? Horrible, isn't it? <laughs> but who would have thought you were also human before? Didn't expect that. But who cares? Someone like that's sure to become be some low life. <laughs> I'll expose you yet. Expose your what's in your heart with Dream Eater. Kick kick kick. Hmm. Something's coming. What? What is that light? It's coming closer. The pain. It's going away. Gardevoir? Gardevoir, will you tell me now who or what I am? Yes, the time has arrived. Why have you come here? I will tell you all that there is to tell. Seven, you have come to save this world. Came to save this... Came to save the world of Pokemon? I did? Yes. We learned that this world faced extinction. And so we sought a hero. But though we searched nowhere we could find our hero, we were becoming discouraged when we came across a human. Seven, you were that human. What? Wait a second. Hero? Me? That's too much. I'm not anything special like that. Yes. That is also what you said the first time we met. You said you were not strong. But what we sought was not power merely for display we sought true courage true courage that I'm even less confident about that that too is what you said when we first met it was then that you said this to see if you were worthy to be our hero or not you asked that we put you to the test and only if you are found to be truly worthy then you were to be told the truth to fulfill your role, clear of heart and mind, you then chose to erase your memories as a human. And become a Pokemon of your own will to fight alongside your friends. That is how you came to be in this world. I... I did that? Your courage has been proven. Without question, you bear the role of saving the world. And that role is soon coming to its end. Stopping the meteor from crashing into this world? That's my role? Yes. And when that is accomplished, you can return to your human world. Oh. So I can go back to being a human. Wait. <clears throat> but that means... Yes. It means... <clears throat> parting ways with Julian. Julian. I have to leave? Julian feels great kinship with you, Seven. So, Seven, if you were to leave, your friend would be heartbroken. But there can be nothing done, because there are encounters, there are also farewells. I too once had a friend beyond value. Truly, I cherished our friendship, but my friend has gone away. It fills me with sadness still, losing my friend. But we will meet again. This is what I believe. Well, what was that? Who was that? Someone appears to have been looking into your dream. But it is fine now. Whoever it was ran off. All that remains in this dream is a feeling of sadness. That Pokemon. I think it ran off crying. It will be morning soon. Au revoir. The next morning... Here we go. Morning. Get a good night's sleep. This is it. Let's roll seven to the sky we go. Time to go to the sky, everybody. Do I just go out the regular way? They seem to imply that I needed to go to Pokemon Square. Here we go. Ah, good of you to come. 
Uh, what's going on? What's that two doing? It's almost ready. The teleport gem. Teleport gem? Go on! It is made. This. This is the teleport gem. It will deliver you to the world of the sky. Now seven, accept! That was made using the power of psychics. By me, Alakazam, and oh. A ghost type Pokemon. We received help from it. Gone away, it seems. Who could it be? Haha, it must be bashful. Let it be. Now. So not only was Gengar listening in on our dream, I heard Gardevoir say it missed its friend, him, and then went and helped the psychics make a rock to send us to the sky, and then left. Gosh darn it, Gengar, you can have a full change of heart in like 12 seconds. Now, I must ask you this one last time. This journey will be fraught with considerable danger. Will you still go? You bet we will. We need to see Rayquaza and ask it to blow up that falling star, right? That's what's going to bring peace. I'm not going to think twice about giving up my life. That's what I want to make happen. Yes. And when that wish comes true, Gardevoir said... This will be my last adventure with Julian. Seven, let's do this right. We're counting on you, Julian. Seven, Nightshade. Because I'm not gonna be like. Beam me up, Scotty. Ouch. Where are we? Wah! Seven, this is cool! We're on clouds! Oh, wow! Seven, look up there! It's a huge tower of clouds! It must be at the very top. That must be where Rayquaza is. Seven, let's give it our best. Alright. I'm gonna see if any of you can use this. Heck yeah, Nightshade. That's what I love about you, guy. knew somebody on my team could learn it, and since we're up here in the sky, it's gotta be. <laughs> Julian, don't do that! <laughs> <coughs> Alright, let me fix you up, Julian. You can do all of those moons again, okay? Sleep. I like this music. I've never heard it before, though, so like. I'm enjoying it quite a bit.
He can only spite me once, little man. Is Fortress a bug? It's a bug. I forgot that. Trying to remember all of these things is weird. Like, ow. Thanks for clearing some of that up, anyway. Burn! I'm sorry, I'm getting lost a little bit in the music because it's a lot of fun actually. <clears throat> Yes, Nightshade, catch up, I believe in you. Nope, oh, sorry, that's not a move that I need you to learn. Yeah, Julian. Goodness gracious, a shuppet. I forgot that ghost type Pokemon were weirdly weird movements. Like, I can't hit that. So, like, we're gonna have to, like, Keep going until we can get it into the hallway. It's got Wonder Guard. We can only hit it with a super effective move. Which... No, I just gotta get there. So this one, I'm not gonna take, like, escort quests for no way. Because that would be bad for me. Easy enough to defeat a curse. You simply have to Eh, I don't need the iron thorns. Oh, that 
so very much hurt. I am distraught. Anyway, what's here? Dig, we already got. Roar, not useful. I'm trying to get us to the midway tower point, but I don't remember how many floors this tower has. Like, at all. Okay, I want to see my IQs. Eh, that, that's okay. I don't need that. I... That might be useful for, like, my boys, but... Raining. Interesting. Not really surprising, but interesting all the same. Trying to make sure to keep the IQ up. <laughs> Does know our origin story? Grew up in the Tower of Sky. <coughs> Don't need no extra specs. Hey, you know what? Sure, you can join. Yeah. I'm gonna name him... Pete. Because vaguely piratey vibes, I'm never gonna let him grow up. To become... Uh, Des Noir, because I don't want, I don't like him very much. And as a reference to Peter Pan and Neverland, because that's what this is. It is to me. Oh, could you- can we hit them? Only Nightshade can hit ghosts. That's a fascinating discovery. That only Nightshade can hit ghosts.
Fascinating. Okay, Pete, you can hold on to that, I guess. We're our squad. Oh, good thing the stairs are right here. I don't want to deal with hail. Yes, it would be cloudy. That is kind of the point. So once I reach... Um, reach a save point, depending on how long we've gotten through. Hey, let's look at your summary. Let's check your IQ. We'll turn that on. Here. We'll give you this, Pete, because that's more helpful. And then we'll take this gray gummy and we'll throw it at you, because maybe that'll help you go up. Yep. No, they don't, do they, Pete? Because now that you got this, we're going to turn that on. Love some money. Do we do? It's always more fun this way. All right, lady in. keep my friends safe. Lots of Petra scarves up in the sky. Is that because people don't like them? We have non trader on. Oh, dear Pete. Pete's gotten lost. Hey, aim that for the actual comet.
beautiful. And then I go... Glop. That's for selling. Gold ribbons are only for selling. The sleep. I always am gonna try and save my max elixirs like that so that I have a them healing me for the best amount of move full. Like... Okay, that one's actually really good, so I'll go ahead and eat this. Because <coughs> that'll be extremely useful for, like, People like me. You blew up the money. <coughs> Apologies. Yep. <coughs> we gotta be careful. Cause only ice types don't get damage inflicted on them in this weather. My energy's on point today. I know exactly where I'm going, even though I've never been here before. Scizor's little jumping dance legs is very fun. Link box. Do 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 do. Like you can become a dust club, so I'm fine with that, Miss Dust Skull, Mr. Dust Skull, Pete. But you can't be a Desmore. I refuse. Thank you, Julian. I couldn't land a hit on him for whatever reason. All right, 18th floor. How tall is Sky Tower? Is this the one with the 100 floors? Or is that a different one? <laughs> ok 
Okay, that was not a good call. Excellent job, Nightshade. But I mean, I wasn't too far off. But it does look like that's just a four-way room. <sighs> Apologies, I needed to blow my nose. Yeah, Julian, get level 29. We love that for us. Even if you're confused, you can still throw things at people. I forgot that. For a half second. Assad. We're doing pretty good for our first run up this tower. I mean, we're on floor 24. Yeah. Okay, you want flamethrower? Flamethrower. Here, Pete. Hold on to the gold ribbon. Pete. Pete's dumb. An Aerodactyl, Pete, truly? Yeah, because you couldn't stay with the team and you used up two of my Reviver Seeds that I just bought 
Ahí. So stupid of you, Pete. <clears throat> I got friendly fire turned off. Need to find the way out fast. That's not there it is. The way out. about an hour in and we've mid made it to the mid point only losing one <sighs> two of five reviver seeds that I had it's actually a pretty Ow. Blow. But... We're getting there. We're getting close to the top now. Love that I had to buy a flamethrower for myself. I think it's funny that I'm like, just give me flamethrower, and eventually the Keleons are like, Your request has been heard. It'll cost you three thousand dollars. Level thirty. Yeah. Level thirty. Okay. Tropius is good. Abby.
Wait, Abby, what do you got? Don't need Lear. We'll try and outfit you with better moves here in a second. that seems like the game will do everything in its power to prevent you from getting to the boss fights with all the reviver seeds you could pack in your pockets. It just says no. Don't do that, actually. And it's the first Metagross I've seen. Julian, where are you going? Julian, why are you leaving? Guys, we have to stay together. Nightshade, please.
so we're going into the boss fight here with absolutely nothing. of her Abby. Just because I don't got. Oh, I have one reviver seed left. I must have missed it in my checking of things. He never sees this this the thorns coming. <sighs> you know what? Bye, Abby. Yeah, you can be disappointed all you want, but you're not helping. You're dragging my people into bad situations. And you're using up all my reviver seeds. Yeah, Nightshade, get level 27. You're getting so much stronger, bud.
Oh dear, we have to find the exit soon. <clears throat> that something stirring is a tactic to make people go faster. If I'm remembering it correctly, if you don't leave as it starts picking up, you get blown off the tower. I could be wrong, but I doubt it. Would you mind taking it out, Julian? Apparently you would. Oh, you got slowed, that's my bad. Here, Nightshade, that'll be useful for you, and I'll take this, and we can go. Because it's so useful. But I gotta not use it up close. Oh no, there was a path through here. Gotta try and be more well-rounded. Goodness gracious. Infinite stack. Okay, there was nothing this way. a big one line. I went the other direction because I decided to follow the metaverse. <laughs> of 
flamethrowers forgotten, flamethrowers learned. The only reason I did that... Oh, that's nice. Thunderbolt chains. I would have gone in there and fought myself, but... Oh, summit. Is it nine? Got it. Is this the top floor? Yep. Who goes there? Who dares trespass upon my airspace? That voice. Is that Rayquaza? Indeed I am. The sky is my domain. Depart at once. But we don't have the time to argue. We came here because we need your help. Never! I am a being of the sky, and you are but denizens of the ground. To each there is a world destined as their own. For hundreds of millions of years, never have I descended to the ground. And the opposite shall also hold true. Let there be no mercy for those that defy the laws of nature. Prepare for the end. Got a couple of blast seeds. Okay. We're okay with this. This is fine. Listen to us, you big dumb goofus. First try. Yeah! That's a beautiful, like, yeah! Ah! Quake! It can't be! We're up on clouds! These are shock waves, and they're huge! That's it, I get it now! Look straight up, Rayquaza! <laughs> Julian! No! Oh, God! <laughs> what is that? It's a shooting star and it's gigantic and it's gonna destroy the world if it isn't stopped. That's why we came, Rayquaza. We need you to destroy that falling star. Oh. So that's why. Yes, hurry, destroy it. Before I try, I need to know your resolve. The star has come too close. If I were to lose my hyper beam here, you would not escape unscathed. So what? We knew that right from the start. Well said. And take charge of your destiny. Wah! Is this a dream? No. This is no dream. Yes. The star's explosion swallowed me, and I'm now adrift as a spirit. What's gonna happen? 
The Shadow, Gengar. Kick <laughs> seven. Didn't take much to put you down. Serves you right. <laughs> now what to do with you? I know. I'll drag you into the dark world. That'll do it. Gengar is dragging me. Gengar said he would drag me into the dark world. What is the dark world? Am I going to be abandoned in a world I didn't don't know? <sighs> hmm? Darn it, I took the wrong path. But This isn't like me. I can't tell which way is which. <sighs> to heck with this. I'll just ditch you here. That's it. Goodbye to you. Hey. Hey, can you hear? Snap out of it. Huh? This place... Ugh. Regained consciousness. Oh. I'm sure of it. I'm sure back there, Gengar saved me. Maybe. Did Gengar save Seven too? Awesome! You're alive! You really had all of us worried. <laughs> you were incredible! I'm so glad you're safe! It's fantastic! Everyone, thank you. But, but what about the star? What happened to it? Fear not, the star is no more. Though it will not be right away, the disaster shall soon be calmed. What about our team member? Where's Nightshade? Be calm, Nightshade is safe. Really? We did it, Seven. We got it done. We've won peace. <sighs> I've never done either of those two bosses before. Yippee! This is the greatest! This calls for a celebration. Let me shoot my hydro pump to kick it off. Whoa, hold there. Don't point those things at me. Face the other way. The other way. No, no. Let it loose. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. I'll secure him so he can't get away. Oh, not bad. What? You're serious? No, don't. <laughs> Seven. Gardevoir. We owe everything to you, Seven, and your friends. Peace has returned to our world. Thank you for everything. And now, Seven, your role here has ended. Soon you must return to your own world. It's time to bid farewell. It's finally come. This time has finally arrived. Seven, I am so sorry for this. To everyone, please bid farewell. Oh, Seven? Seven? Your body, what's happening? Julian. And everyone. I'm sorry, but I have to leave. What? What, what are you saying? Everyone. Thank you for everything, all this time.
Huh? Leave? What do you mean, leave? My role as a Pokemon has ended. I have to return to the human world. Unbelievable. Go back to the human world? Huh? Why? Why? I don't understand. Why do you have to leave? Didn't we? Aren't we friends? Yes. You will always be my friend, Julian. I will never forget you. Wait, Seven. I'm blessed to have met you. What am I gonna do when you're gone, Seven? I'm so very sorry. This is goodbye. Seven! 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 Seven, no! Seven, why? I don't understand. Why? Why was it necessary to leave us? Seven saved my life, but I hadn't done anything to show my thanks. Left before I could even say thanks. You're right. Just upped and went like that. Why now? Why when the world's been saved? Just when things are gonna get better. This was coming. Our world, it was saved by Seven. I look back and now, when bound for the sky, Seven seemed as if resigned. Resigned to accept what was to come. I think I know. I think I understand now. Seven became a Pokemon to save us, and when, when the star was destroyed, Seven knew that that would be the time to leave. Why, why didn't Seven tell me earlier? If this was coming, why didn't Seven tell me? Those words couldn't be spoken. As much as you are heartbroken now, Seven must have felt the same pain of leaving. Try to understand, Julian. <laughs> Seven. What is this? I'm rising into the sky. Is this my spirit? I wonder where I'm going. Voices? I hear voices. Your friend is heartbroken. A true friend, friend for life. You finally realize it now. If you wish, and wish very strongly, Perhaps you will meet again. So I definitely see how this one could have made a younger, much younger me, very emotional had I finished the game at that point in time. We're likely going to get an after credit scene where we get put back in the world to do the... the after quests, the quests that aren't the main story.
But yeah, this is my first run through completing Pokemon Red slash Blue Rescue Team. Honestly, not bad, not bad. Alright, we've reached the end of the credits, so we'll get the after credits scene now. I don't want to leave. I want to stay longer. With my invaluable... Irreplaceable friend. The story of Seven and Julian ends here. But Toothy Ma isn't done yet! There's many rescues to be done! A new adventure begins. The legendary Pokemon are set to make their appearance. Don't go away! There's our list of people we bested. <coughs> We're gonna save this. And I think I'm gonna cut it here just because I'm gonna need to do research to see if that's connected to the main storyline. Like the after stuff. If there's another main storyline involved here. If there isn't and it's just a bunch of side quests, then we'll be moving on next week to Time, Darkness, and Sky. Theoretically doing Sky, just because that's the most updated version of it. And we'll be trying to get a Charmander in the intro. I hope you all had fun seeing the end of Blue Rescue Team's main storyline. And I'm glad you came out. If you like what I do and you want to support me, consider giving me a follow. It's always helpful. If you've already followed me and you still want to support me, go check out the YouTube channel where all my archives live. If you go watch a few of the archives, you feed the YouTube algorithm and, well, make me more visible to other people. If you're done with that, or you've done your share of watching videos, or you have spare change lying around and you want to throw it at a favorite person, me, 
I have a Kofi. It's also linked in the description. The money put there would go towards buying a new computer so that I can stream more games. Until next time, I hope you have a wonderful morning, evening, afternoon, or wherever you are in this fine world. And I will see you next Saturday for more multiplayer Minecraft, hopefully. Until then, bye bye